We now have Invest 93W right here located near Guam moving towards the west and likely it's going to interact with the shear line over the upcoming days and really bring an increase in gusty conditions and heavy rainfall across the east coast of the Philippines. I'm meteorologist Robert Spett. I always do my best to keep you informed and updated on what's happening out here. And yeah, right now, this is our area. You can see it here just near Guam. In fact, the uh, Guam National Weather Service radar out of here just showing some scattered showers pushing overhead that do have a rip current risk in place at this time because of the high waves kicking up but i'm sure a lot of you have probably been seeing things like this the guidance especially the gfs showing a little bit of a system moving towards the west then jogging towards the southwest the ecm wf very similar and even this guidance right here this is the gfs kind of showing you very similar output on the third heading into the fourth located off the east coast of Asais, an area of low pressure here but the key thing i want you to take away as i've been saying for about five days now now is not so much the low pressure center it is this look at this line stretching back towards the northeast and then you got our low radon kind of forming up along that line that is the leading edge of our cold surge aka the shear line which is going to be the bigger issue here now when push comes to shove it's semantics when we're just talking about rainfall. In fact, look at the fourth ending into the fifth and sixth. You can see just this whole skew of moisture pushing towards the south and west. Well, most of northern Luzon should stay relatively dry, to be quite honest, with some heavy rainfall across southern areas of Luzon over towards Visayas by the latter part of this mid to latter part of this upcoming week. And here's another good image kind of showing you what we have going on out here with that cold surge towards north. Here's Invest 93W right there. Here's Koto, also known as Verbena in the Philippines, just lingering off the east coast of uh, Vietnam, and even Senyar located right in there. But here's our cold surge right there, the shear line, standing off of that. And that's going to be basically what's dominating the forecast. So as this moves towards northwest, it's going to smack into that and get shoved down towards the south and east. Now, the good news with that a lot of shear to go with it and this graphic i know it's a lot to look at there's a lot of wind barbs here but the key thing i want you to take away is this is where kind of the jet stream is right there you see these higher winds located right through here any system that runs into that what's going to happen is the clouds are going to get skewed that way and that way along it so it's going to get stretched out just kind of like just pulling on a rubber band and getting pushed out here and that's why on this image here by the fourth and the fifth you see how it's skewed northwest to southeast or excuse me southwest to northeast that is and even the google deep mine a lot of people are sharing this as proof that there's going to be a storm but if we watch closely watch as the cluster gets skewed in both of those directions you see it so this is all culmination uh coming together here for a classic shear line type setup now robert okay what's what's the end game here then well basically we're already seeing rainfall from the current shear line this is going to move towards northwest get skewed and the low pressure center will come in like that with a lot of the convection also shifting towards north and east but big thing is that's going to enhance that shear line cause it to drift south across luzon and eventually increase rainfall for parts of um southeastern luzon over towards Visayas. and you can see that here by monday to tuesday here goes our shear line shifting towards the south here comes our low pressure area from the uh, west and it kind of skews that moisture and you see right here by wednesday and thursday you see how that skewed across gusty winds in northern luzon heavy rainfall across parts of Bicol, eastern areas of Asais, maybe in towards mindoro as we just see that get pulled in from the north and this is another image of what we're talking about with our shear line right here that is that interaction a lot of people ask what it is i just put out a video breaking this down in detail but it's the interaction with that cool drier in the north moisture towards the south in shear aka that kind of ripping that that interaction with these two different wind levels it's going to be smack right in the middle and kind of added moisture from a tropical system so is this going to be a super typhoon heck no there is nothing that would support that because there's just one too much dry air two too much shear and three too far north this time of year would it be a rainmaker? 
yeah, it, we would definitely see an increase in rainfall here across a good portion of the Philippines, and we're already seeing it in parts of Guam and the Mariana Islands, who are also going to be impacted by this system. So yes, it is an invest area now. Yes, Pagasa has given a medium chance of tropical development out of it, and yes, it is something I want to watch for. May it probably could get a name. Honestly, if if it shows up as a low pressure area. East of the Philippines, kind of like, well, let's go back to the ECMWF here on the 4th. So let's say we do have a low pressure area here just towards the east of the Philippines. It's a broad low, even though it is part basically just hooked up to the shear line, which is going to stretch all the way. Look at this. It stretches all the way back to Kamchatka. That's pretty cool, huh? Look at the line. See, this stretches all. That's the leading edge of our colder air, by the way. I'm getting off topic, but I think this is cool. So the Siberian high is right here. Here's all of this colder air trying to fight its way south. And you can see the line just like that. And the very tip bottom of it is our rotation. That makes sense? And that is what's going to be kind of spinning up here. So big rainmaker for the Philippines, not a super typhoon makes sense but if it does become a little bit of a low and there is somewhat of tropical characteristics uh pagasa probably would call it a um a name storm and we would get wilma and which i'm sure would panic people more than actually kind of keep them advised that it's a northeast monsoonal flow but anyways um right now though big loose area convection just near guam they got heavy rainfall in their area and we still got a few days to watch us and stand by so as always thanks for watching and number one thing of course friends is stay safe out there if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button if you want to help out on patreon i got a my, I refreshed my show and I lost my Patreon graphic. I don't know where it went. So I got to rebuild that whole thing. But um, big shout out to all our Patreon members who support this channel. Two, six, or $10 a month. You guys do a lot to help support this and keep these graphics and these information flowing. And uh, I um, continue to do a lot of people say, I'll oh, take a break, Robert. And one reason why I still do this every day is because people are, they're, they're donating. I'll never put this behind a paywall, but y'all are going out of your way for that little extra effort to keep these updates going. And I respect that. And I'm going to keep doing my best to keep you guys posted and informed on a daily basis. So as always, thanks for watching. And of course, stay safe out there. Okay, friends.